This is Tekker 911, episode 70, Electricity. Hi, I'm Reed Daniel. And I'm Jordan Berman. And today we're going to talk to you about building a flashlight. Uh, you're going to need some basic electronics parts you can get from a local electronics store such as Radio Shack, or you can order them online. So what you'll need is uh, 100, what, uh, 100 ohm resistors, 220 ohm resistors, you need a 9 volt battery, a 9 volt battery connector, two 5 millimeter LEDs, the color is up to you, and if you want, you need a switch. Those are the things you need to buy. You may have wire strippers as well as electrical tape in your house, but if you don't, you also need to go out and get that. That's available at any local hardware store. So, it's just a simple circuit that we're trying to build right now. And the, um, so really what you want to do is, you want, if you know how to solder, that's a good thing, you can do that. But if you don't, and you're a little unsure of your skill, you can grab what we grabbed were, uh, these are actually were telephones, but they work just the same. They're telephone butt connectors. And you just put whatever you want to connect in there, uh, crimp it, and it, it makes a circuit for you, or it makes a connection for you. There's two sides to it, so you can connect, you can crimp one side and not put something on the other side and crimp that later. So right now I'm trying to connect the two resistors, the, the 120, or the two, 220 and the 100. So we're going to use our tool right here to crimp this. And you should see that it's been scored and nothing's loose. And then take another one put on the opposite end. And there's your uh, your completed resistor connection. Alright, uh, crimping a wire is basically just taking a pliers and uh, squeezing it, but with this little connector so it stays together and this won't come off. Alright, so if you look at your LEDs, there should be a flat side on one side and those are the negative sides. So what you want to do is you want to connect your LEDs in um, some kind of pattern. You can do opposite sides of the butt connector and use an extra one or you can just do the same one. We're just going to put them in the same one. So uh, one side should be longer than the other on them. And so you take the one short side and one long side and put it in the same butt connector. All right, and so now our LEDs are connected. You can't really tell but there is a flat side. You might have to look a little carefully. When, uh, just before you start assembling, make sure you check. So potentially your battery connector might have slightly short um, wire. Con uh, the connection might be a little short. So you might have to rip the wire down so that you can attach it more easily. So it's basically just ripping the wire, the plastic off of the wire so you can expose the metal and they don't have good conductivity. If it's a really small wire, you might be able to use your fingernails for that, otherwise you're going to need a wire stripper. And um, some wire coverings might be a little bit thicker than the others, so try not to squeeze down too hard because you might cut the actual wire like I just accidentally did. And when you've done that, you're going to want to twist those so that the wires don't become frayed at the ends. So we're going to start by not connecting it to the battery because there's a risk that you might like to shoot yourself and that's not really a good idea. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the negative end of the battery connected to our switch. So when we want to, we can actually make, uh, make the circuit break so we can turn off the flashlight without separating it from the battery. Next thing you have to do is connect another wire to the other end of the switch 
Not the other wire from the battery, a different wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap that actually both tips in electrical tape so that nothing gets shorted. Yeah, because if these two ends touch, it will create a short circuit, and that's not good. So after you do that, you need to take that copper wire that we have attached to the circuit right now, and you want to attach that to your resistors. So first thing to do is to put it in the actual uh, butt connector and then crimp it so it stays shut. So that's not going anywhere. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the negative end, which is the flat side of the LEDs, and you're going to connect that directly to the resistors. So you put it in a little tube, and then you're going to crimp it. So that should sit nice and secure. And then the final step is just to get a butt connector and connect that to your uh, your battery wire. And so final step, we're going to connect a battery and see if we did this correctly, which I'm pretty sure we did. And see if our switch is on. If you look at these bulbs, they've been uh, lit up. And if you put the switch, they're off. And so that's how you make a battery out of some LEDs, some resistors, and a battery. Uh, also, one note is if you do decide to do this with um, with the uh, switch, you will need an extra piece of wire that you're going to have to go out and buy. I'm Jordan Berman. I'm Reed Dean. Don't burn down your house. This simple electric circuit illustrates some intriguing physics. The battery provides voltage and electric pressure that pushes uh, electrons through the wire and through the lamp. Should this be an incandescent light, the um, it would have a filament in there, and the filament is much more thin than the the surrounding wire, so the electrons shake, vis shake uh, producing visible light. That's why uh, filaments emit light while the wires do not. Electric power is measured in watts, which is equal to current times voltage. Current is measured in amps, and voltage in volts. Electricity works in circuits. So a circuit is a continuous connection. Uh, goes around, I guess, in a circle. So in this, the uh, electricity comes from the battery, either positive or negative. It all goes around in a circle through the wire. So from one terminal to the wire, uh, and then in the switch, the switch either has a go off or on. So when the switch is on, then a connection is made between the two wires. And when it's off, then there is no connection. Uh, through the crimpers, which, as Jordan said, just provides a continuous connection through resistors, through the L LEDs, and if you notice, everything here is connected. So if I was to break the circuit, either by cutting a wire, disconnecting something from the battery, or uh, disconnecting or turning, having the switch in the off position, then it would, the light would not light up. To watch this episode again or to watch any of our prior episodes, you can visit our website 911.tecker.net, T-E-C-K-E-R. And on the website we have uh, our prior episodes as well as you can view them directly on the website or you can download them in WMV for Windows, iPod or QuickTime format for your iPod or if you have iTunes installed, an MP3 audio only version of the show and a WMV HD version of the show which you can download via BitTorrent that looks really, really clear uh, and in pristine HD quality. And instructions for downloading via BitTorrent are also on the site. On the right hand side we have more information about us and about each of the members of the show as well as quick links to all of our prior episodes and links to the RSS feeds for each of the formats that we release the show in and links to subscribe to the show in iTunes if you have an iPod, an Apple TV, an iPhone, any Apple device, you can click on that link in either video or audio format. You can also, in iTunes, search for Tecker, T-E-C-K-E-R, uh, in the iTunes store, and then you can find our podcast that you can subscribe to free. Also, if you do not have, a, if you do not have an iPod, if you have like a generic MP3 player, then you can use the, uh, you can still listen to our show if on our website, you subscribe to this MP3 audio version in a feed catcher, in a pod catcher like Juice. Uh, you can search for Juice on Google, download that program, and then it'll load the shows automatically onto your 
uh, generic MP3 playing device. If you have any questions about the show or about technology, you can send us an email at 911 at tecker.net or you can leave us a voicemail at 610-572-2847. Thank you so much for watching Tecker 901.